The, um, so I, so what happened about the writing was that the, what, after I'd had my first two children, I had decided to give up work. I was a French and German teacher to concentrate on the children. But I found my, my head was, I, I just didn't know what to do with it because I wasn't getting any stimulation. So I looked for a course, anything to do. And the reason I went to one called Women in Writing was <clears throat> I offered a crash. I was actually childminding a friend's child as well. So I had three children under three and they offered a crash. <laughs> And as I've often said, it could have been macrame for beginners. I was in there. <clears throat> it's given a couple of hours for the children. It was it was actually a great crash I had. The children were having a ball. And I was with other women. And I hadn't had any great consciousness of being a woman, being different. Well, apart from the fact that the men, I was going to say being different, apart from the fact that the Glasgow University, the men's union, no women were allowed in. For four, four, first four weeks of an eight week course, I was shocked that we were supposed to write. I thought we were going to be reading women's writing. I misunderstood the original leaflet, which we did do, but we were to use it as a jumping off point for writing. And I was so shocked. And the, we got, got to the fourth week was the next morning and I was, I said to my husband, I'm so embarrassed going back because other women are bringing writing in. And I'm so embarrassed. And I'd been absorbing everything that had been going on. And uh, quite seriously, he said, you go take, you, you go into the, the dining room and with a notebook or whatever. And he was very, he often put the kids to bed, etc. But he said, you go separate and have a gin and tonic <laughs> and see if you can write something for tomorrow. And to my amazement, the poem that I'm going to read just now, based on one of the exercises we've been given at the group uh, a couple of weeks previously, came pouring out. And I thought well, that was pretty good. So um, I had another gin and tonic <laughs> and, and I wrote another poem. So there you are. I'm, I was fueled by alcohol. <laughs> 